the newly elected Khalifa was on a peaceful mission, a mission to serve humanity. But the political situation in Pakistan became worse than ever before. The moment I was selected by Allah to leave the Jamaat, Zia did not like this perspective at all. The regime of Zia wanted some uh, political philosophy to support the, the, their regime politically and to give them a reason, a, a justification for remaining in power. So what they said was, they said they are the custodians of Islam. As such, they have to serve certain purposes for the sake of Islam. And as long as those purposes are not served and achieved, they would remain in power. You know, as if they were commissioned by God to do that. So for this, they had to align uh, and, and implicate mullahs and to uh, uh, utilize and exploit them. And what was the purpose for which they were destined to play a very important role, you know? The purpose was to destroy the foremost enemy of Islam, that is Ahmadiyya community. It was during Zia's time the persecution against the Ahmadiyya community peaked. Their shops were pillaged and set on fire and mobs rioted outside their mosques. The discrimination practiced by the Bhutto government was stepped up. Hazrat Khalifa Turmasi IV urged restraint on his followers. Do not respond to these provocations. He denounced in sermon after sermon the injustices that Zia was inflicting. God would punish him if he continued in his evil ways. God's wrath would be terrible. Hazrat Khalifa Tulmasi warned him again and again, but the general paid no attention to the warnings and continued to plot schemes in order to destroy the community. You know, when I suspected that some thing is cooking against Ahmadiyya between the Mullah and the, the then dictator of Pakistan, Ziaul Haq, instead of running away, I went straight to Islamabad and camped there for seven days. He had many friends among the diplomatic community. Some he met at their offices and some privately. From the meetings, he gathered something was going to happen, but no one seemed to know exactly what. Until the deputy commissioner of Islamabad sent me a very urgent message. This deputy commissioner said, my earnest advice to you is, for God's sake, return immediately to Rabba. Or it will be too late. Hazrat Khalifa Tulmasi IV immediately returned to Rabwa. On the 26th of April 1984, Ordinance 20 was introduced under martial law by General Ziaul Haq. The ordinance was designed to prohibit Ahmadis from practicing their faith. I immediately called a meeting of all the Ahmadi elders, whoever were available at the time, to reach Rabwa immediately. I stated before them the facts, the consequences of this ordinance. I told them that according to this ordinance, if I remain in Pakistan and declare myself to be a Muslim, immediately they would arrest me and put me behind the bar. So how can I remain a Khalifa of Jamaatul Ahmadiyya, Khalifatul Basi, and operative at the same time? The advice at the meeting was unanimous. Huzur should leave Pakistan immediately. At that time, Usman Chu, a missionary of the community who had no idea of what was being planned, saw a dream. On the 26th April 1984, मैं ये दिखा कि खुदू इस्लाम आबाद जाने वाले हैं और एक मिनी पास में जा रहे जाएंगे जिसकी इर्द गिर्द खुदू के पैरेडार मौजूद हैं और जो सब के सब आसमानी 
रंग की यूनिफॉर्म बनते हैं और इन पहरेदारों की इर्द गिर्द सरकारी फौरिस हैं जब वो मैंने जब मैं इस पास के करीब आ गया जब मैं इस पास के करीब गया तो मैंने खजूर को नहीं दिखा और ये समझा कि खजूर तो ऐब की तरीक इस्लामाबाद तशरीफ ली गए हैं और पास के अंदर तो सर्व कुछ समय मौजूद हैं फिर मैंने उसी पास में खजू की अलविदा कहने के लिए बैठ गया और फिर तारों के साथ सफ़र करने लगा कुछ सफ़र करने की कुछ सफ़र करके उधर किया और फिर तारों ने मुझे कुछ फाल दिया इस खाब से मैं समझता हूँ चंद बातें जो मैंने खुद खिद में फेज भी किए थे नंबर वन ये है कि अल्लाह तला जमात खजूर हिफाजत फरमाएगा नंबर दो खजूर सब के सब इनाम भी फरमाएगा फरमाएगा और और सब के सब नहायत ज़्यादा तरक्की भी देंगे इन शानदारीफ्टिलीफ्टिलीफ्टिलीफ्टिलीफ्टिलीफ्टिलीफ्टिलीफ्टिलीफ्टिलीफ्टिलीफ्टिलीफ्टिलीफ्टिलीफ्ट